Skyhawk 2-3, Mike Zulu, IFR 2 Ocala, ready to copy. Skyhawk 2-3, Mike Zulu, valid off the ground. Clear to Ocala Airport as filed. Maintain 2,100, expect 7,000, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 132.37. Squawk 4233. 2 Mike Zulu, cleared to Ocala as filed. Maintain 2100, 7010, 132.37, 4233 in the box. Have the out of man weather and ready to taxi in front of you. Skyhawk 3, Mike Zulu, read back correct. Runway 17, taxi via Alpha. 17 via Alpha, thank you. 2 3 Mike Zulu. All right, let's do it. Everything else programmed here in just a second. Sky 3 Mike Zulu, win 180 at 5 over here at 2985. Thank you, 3 Mike Zulu. Alright, no one back behind me, let's run her up. Solid. All right. Over to tower. Back to my scratch pad. It was one three two three seven. Next, one three two three seven. I'm up to twenty one hundred off the bat. Okay, seven thousand and ten. I'm happy with all of that. Tower Skyhawk 23, Mike Zulu's run up complete, away an IFR release. Skyhawk 3, Mike Zulu, that lost the tower. Proceed on course, climb maintain 7,000, runway 17, cleared for takeoff. On course 17, cleared for takeoff. Thank you, 2 Mike Zulu. Skyhawk 3, Mike Zulu, climb maintain 7,000. And it's up to 7 now, thank you for that, 2-3, Mike Zulu. Missed that. So we'll skip the 2100, okay. Let's pay attention to which runway is which here. Oh, I see it, okay, so that's 2-2. Two, two. This is obviously 1-7. I can get tricky, huh? Because if you look at the taxiway diagram, it showed 2-2 two, two is kind of the first little turn. On 1-7, let's just confirm. 1-7 on the compass, 1-7 on the HSI. Doors closed, everything's good. Feels both, let's roll. Everything's looking great. Have a nice flight. We'll see you. Clear Mike Zulu. Valdosta, Skyhawk 2 3, Mike Zulu, 1000, climbing 7000, just off 17. Skyhawk 2 3, Mike Zulu, Valdosta approach. Uh, verify identity. Just give you another flash, that's me. Three miles to the contact two miles south of Adasta. Engine gauges all look good. Peek, see what weather looks like on. All kind of pushing through. Again, like I said, the Dynon kind of intensifies a little more, so we're looking great. 108 miles to go, hour and 11 minutes of this speed, but that's my climb speed. Got some buildups here we're going to work through and kind of see. Don't look that bad outside.
Be altimeter 2984. Yeah, pressure's kind of been steadily dropping. It was, had me a little concerned earlier coming out of Peachtree here in that every single altimeter is getting lower and lower, and it's kind of stabilized ish right now. And then the sun's starting to kind of go down. The storms coming off the Gulf are kind of slowing down. Not blowing up like they were earlier this afternoon, so life's good thus far. Number 23, Mike Zulu, oh. contact Jacksonville Center, 125.37. Good day. 125.37, to the Mike Zulu. November 1, 4, November, November, contact Jacksonville Center, 125.3. Afternoon, Jack, Skyhawk 2-3, Mike Zulu, 3200, climbing 7000. Hey, good evening, Jacksonville Center, Station Air 1-4, November, November is checking in at 2500. 23 Mike Zulu, Jack, Center Roger, off time drive, thought off, it's 2984. 8-4, thanks Mike Zulu. So 14 November, November, Jack, Center Roger, maintain VFR at all times, game's off, here at 2988. Descending now into Ocala. And that weather we talk so much about, welcome to uh, aviation. That's just how it works sometimes. Everything's kind of off the side uh, here, already passed, well on by. We're in the clear. Uh, it was clear even when it was showing a little bit of green there. Again, the Dynon kind of uh, over intensifies some of the weather. Nothing shown on the Avidine. Fuel things way, way out. Um, Nothing to see on the iPad either. And bring it on in. We got my descent. I'm 18 miles out. This is the part I don't like. I'm 18 miles out. They're bringing me down to 2,000 feet. I'm at 3,700. I like to kind of stay high um, and then drop it in. But I do see the Ocala Airport. Uh, we're back 860. Charlie Romeo is taking at 10,000. And we have Kilo. I've got tower up as my next frequency. Right of K60, Charlie Romeo, Jack's approach. Call out to us, 2988, Roger, expect visual 18. Visual 18, Mr. Charlie Romeo. Mike Zulu, Kala, correction, Ocala Airport is at 12 o'clock and 18 miles. 23 Mike Zulu has Ocala on site. 23 Mike Zulu, clear visual approach, runway 18, and contact the Kala Tower, 119.25. Good day. Cover Tower, clear visual 18, thank you, 23 Mike Zulu. 18 miles out for a visual on 1-8, and they already switched me a tower. I think you forgot I'm only going 90 knots. <laughs> Evening, Ocala Tower, Skyhawk 2-3, Mike Zulu's uh, 16 out now on the visual for 1-8. Mike Zulu, Roger, report to three miles from the field, either a right base or straight in. We're going to call you three miles. Looks like I'm set up better for a little bit of a right base. Roger. All right. 16 miles to go. Keeping the descent coming down. And he wants me to report him in the three miles. This airplane coming down, ground speeds look great, utilizing some of that altitude and the, 
the descent, trading it for some ground speed. And I'm gonna just miss a good sunset. Finally have some good visibility, like you can see the Gulf of Mexico. Some days in Florida you can see both from Ocala, you can see the Atlantic and the Gulf. You get up high enough on a real clear day. Those are some good days. All right, Ocala's in sight, 13 miles out. All right, let's knock out a before landing checklist. Defer on, actually, let me get carburetor heat on. Carburetor heat on, both, deferred flaps, seat belts, checklist deferred. Just double check it. Checklist deferred for flaps. It is beautiful. It wasn't looking so pretty earlier. I am super glad. Worked out. I think that stop in Valdosta was smart, just to regroup, uh, kind of reassess the weather, as well as um, just get fuel. You know, I mean, again, I shared this earlier, but imagine five two three Lima Calground. Imagine you fly all the way here, and you get here with reserves, basically, and Ocala is closed. Ocala, you know, is solid IFR. There's a thunderstorm. Now you're diverting somewhere else you're not familiar with, you don't want to be with, or you don't want to be there. It just makes way more sense. Tower 2-3 Mike Zulu's uh, three miles out to the northwest. 2-3 Mike Zulu, Roger. Runway 1-8, you're at clear land. 1-8, clear land. Thank you, 2-3 Mike Zulu. All right, let's start to slow this old girl down. Kremlin 2-3 Lima, you may see a Cessna landing, runway 18. He's heading to your right there, kind of quartering towards the numbers. Roger that, we're looking, 2-3 Lima. Next notch. I don't see him. I'll square it up, I got him in sight. I'll square it up just to be safe. Two three, my hands on the side. So make change visual step. Register for change for visual step. So long for now. Two three, Lima. All right, turn final. Wind is one three zero at four. One three zero at four. Not a whole lot happened. Approaching altitude. Nice. Love it when you time that roll out just right onto the runway. Slowing her down nice. Right on glide path. The cow tires, uh, Medivac 860, Charlie Romeo, citation uh, on the visual warning. Medivac 860, Charlie Roman, Caltech, Roger, you setting up for a straight answer or a base entry? Uh, it's more like a dog leg, but uh, I guess we're uh, going for a straight in. Okay, either way, that's fine. Medivac uh, 0, Charlie Roman, we'll report five miles from the field for only 1-8. There we're she is. Five miles from the field, uh, 0, Charlie Roman. Made it home. Pretty exciting. And 2-3 Mike Zulu, Alpha 3 to the... Uh, Ramp with me, sir. Alpha 3 on the ramp with you. Thanks. To the ranks of them. So, <laughs> eight hours of flying, I believe, is about what I logged in, uh, in two days. Reminds me back to my heavy, heavy flight instruction kind of days. Let me clean up here real quick. Uh, just a lot of, uh, a lot of fun. So, a weather delay, so much to, uh, to experience. But it makes it uh, it makes us all a better pilot at the end of the day. That's what it really does. Decision making can be challenging, and you saw the first leg. You know, it's it it, it is tough. I, I was hoping to have a nice VFR leg to show you all. It just didn't work out. Uh, hopefully, you all were inspired to go earn an instrument rating, perhaps, <laughs> if that's what you uh, uh, if that's what you desire, because. You saw how unpredictable it was. Honestly, the leg I was most worried about was this leg we just did from Valdosta on in. And it, it ended up being such a non-event. Um, and some of the legs I underestimated were, were the ones that caused the biggest issues. And, and maybe there's maybe there's some relational uh, uh, relationship between those th that thought process there, perhaps. But um, 
just so thankful. I know this is a longer series, but so thankful uh, you all are taking the time to watch it. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And most importantly, remember, a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, everyone. We'll see you.